Hello and welcome to, what was this field at? Bluegrass Workshop? Yeah. I think yeah. so, yeah. So whatever that means, the boys have very kindly offered to give up some time to play some tunes and uh, answer some questions about bluegrass, how you do it, what's it for, why is it there, how does it sound, what's the difference between it and why you do it. Why would you do this? This workshop is now officially entitled Bluegrass Music. Why? <laughs> so I'll leave all the little bits of introductions for later. This is four wheel drive, everybody. I would like to do a, 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 sh a short check here on uh, how many how many people raise your hands have never heard really heard bluegrass music before. Totally new to this music. No. <laughs> how many of you have never lied? <laughs> what makes uh, bluegrass music so uh, a particular kind of music, and to me at least, it is the rhythm. Uh, the instrument, you can find the instruments in other kinds of music. There's a lot of fiddle and Irish music, of course. Banjo, not really a five-string banjo, but uh, tenor banjo in jazz music. And, uh, but in bluegrass music, this all comes together and works together in a very particular way to produce a kind of rhythm that is really specific for bluegrass music. Well, a good way maybe to explain how the bluegrass sound actually is made is by doing a song. We can do this, the same tune again. And start out with one instrument and add the other ones to it. You, so you can see how the sound is built up, like the guitar would do. Yeah, which is a good bass, bass already. I want to add some, add some mandolin to that. It's all afterbeat, but it's 
but it's, it sounds uh, different. And I think usually you would <coughs> change your kind of chop when another instrument uh, comes in. Or, or yeah, I think I think basically the, the the job that the bass and the mandolin does is you can compare that to the to the drum set of an electric band. You know, you're doing this boom chick. You know where the where the rhythm is based on, basically. Yeah. Well, uh, and it's got to be it's got to be pretty, pretty <coughs> straight. I mean, for my taste, at least, or for well, actually, you got a good you need a good rhythm to to. Be, be free to do anything else on it, you know, sing on it, fiddle on it, play banjo breaks or mandolin breaks. You always depend on a good, good rhythm. Yeah. yeah. And, and we asked the question, bluegrass music, why? There's another answer to it, at, at least uh, in my case, that is, bluegrass music is music without drums. Hooray, hooray. hooray. <laughs> While in bluegrass music, like we showed you, we actually make the music, the rhythm, together. We don't, we don't need a, a extra percussion or, or, or drums because uh, like the way you just played the mandolin it's it's really like a like a drum you know? and you make the rhythm with with the whole band and that's that's something that yeah, that's very attractive to me that you don't have this uh, this drum sound all the time there's one there's one bad thing about drums when you, you imagine if we had drums we couldn't go from one club to another Playing music. Yeah. Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> 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 <laughs>